As I mentioned, joining us here live on News Nation right now, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., presidential candidate here on News Nation. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, thanks for being with us this evening. It is obviously a horrifying moment, no matter who you are, what party you ascribe to or don't. Your perspective this evening, sir, as a presidential candidate that has millions of followers all across this country. Yeah, I mean, I think we all need to take a breath now and step back and, and see that this is the product of so much vitriol and so much anger, and that when we release that kind of anger into the universe, it, it inevitably comes back and reverberates with these kind of consequences. And all of us now have to start looking at each other and saying we're all Americans. We're better than this. This isn't the way that we want our country to look to our children, to look to people around the world. We need to stop hating on each other. We need to stop telling other people in the world that the other guy is going to destroy the republic. We need to recognize we're all Americans. We all love our country. It's time now to pray for the president, pray for his family, for President Trump, and to start being kind to each other and and to start being generous to each other and to, to, to resist all of the, the implications that we, that we continue in this kind of vitriolic way. Let's, let's have an election. Let's go forward as Americans. Let's love each other. Let's trust each other. And let's rebuild this country as a community. How did you find out about this? We all found out about this in our own different ways. I saw a text message. Didn't, wasn't sure if it was yeah, real or what I was going on, and then I started searching. How did you find it? I saw a text message at first. Somebody in my group showed me a text message, and then we turned on the television, and we watched it as the story was evolving. And, you know, of course, I've been through this before with my own family. Um, I was with my dad, and he died in, in Los Angeles. Um, I understand uh, uh, the, the implications that this has for our country, and probably as well as anybody does. And, you know, I, I think I, you know, my message to people is we, we need to all renounce violence. We need to renounce not just violence, but the hatred and vitriol. And uh, we need to stop marginalizing each other. And let's have a dialogue with each other, but do that and in a conversation and a debate. Oh, let's do that without hating each other. You know, when my uncle was, you know, in 1963, there was this kind of division again. There was that, this kind of hatred. When my father was, you know, it was, it was in the midst of a time that was probably the most divisive in American history at that time since the American Civil War. And we're back into that kind of milieu today. And we all need to take responsibility for it. When we, when we post something that is mean-spirited, that is condemnatory, uh, that, is, uh, that is poisonous towards somebody else, we're contributing to this atmosphere of violence, to, the, to, the, uh, to giving permission to the crazy people who are out there to do acts like this. And we're all complicit in that if, we, if we're contributing to this hatred. We are all complicit in what happened today. Oh, it's time we stop doing this. It's time we start treating each other with respect and, uh, and stop scaring each other about the other candidates because it gives permission to, to, to the people who ever did this. It gives them permission to do these kind of acts. And, and like I say, we're all, all of those of us who have, who have used hatred and have, have, have fed into the hatred and are complicit as ultimately. We need to stop now. You mentioned that, of course, you have the unfortunate experience of, uh, of something similar to this, obviously. Um, I wonder what you think is, 
is going through the minds and the heads of the Trump family at this hour and this evening as they learn of what's happened to their father, their spouse, their uncle, their grandfather? Well, I'm sure they're terrified for his safety. I'm sure they're greatly, greatly relieved that he seems to have survived. There are two people who, uh, who died today, including one bystander, apparently. And you know, when my father was killed, there were six other people shot, including one of his best friends, Paul Schrade, who was, took the first bullet and was shot in the head. Uh, when my uncle was shot, there were also John, uh, Governor Connolly was shot, and Ronald Reagan was shot. Uh, 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 Jim Brady was also shot and, and suffered a devastating wound. So people are affected. People, you know, people, an innocent bystander died today, and we need to, we need to all step back from this and just. We need to each take responsibility for our own behavior and just say that we're not going to be part of this vitriol anymore. That we're going to have to the real action, that we're going to be kind to each other, and that we're going to make our democracy work. We're going to show the world that we're not a violent, angry, hateful people. And we're going to try again to strive for our highest ideals, which is to be the exemplary democracy of the world. We're, we're a lot better than this. I don't mean to turn the attention on you, sir, but I believe you have been requesting Secret Service protection and haven't received it. How do you view tonight's events, and will you re-up your request as a result? I don't want to make this issue about me or my issues. This is a, okay, there's fair. a much bigger issue here today, which is the issue of the future of our republic. And, you know, all of us should take inspiration from the way that the Secret Service detail handled this. You know, you saw the very, very brave men and women who stood up, who surrounded the president, put their bodies in the way, who ran toward the fire, put their bodies in the way of the next bullet protect the president and protect our constitution and protect our nation and our way of life. And every American should, should study what they did, how they surrounded him and put themselves in terrible, lethal danger in order to protect the values of our country. And each, each one of us now needs to take inspiration from their example and understand that we all have to make sacrifices and that may not be standing in the way of a bullet. It may just be biting our tongue or not replying to or, or, or amplifying an angry post. But we all need to start circling around our Constitution, circling around our country, and understand that, you know, we all have responsibility for what's happening. And we all have responsibility to protect our values and protect the things that we treasure and that we love about this country and let's circle around it and, uh, and make sure that, that you know, we're not feeding into this. Are, are you, you know, I, I, I hear you and I, and I think most people would love for the temperature to be lowered. Um, and, and this will obviously, I, I would presume, lower the temperature for some time. How long? I, I don't know. And, and I know you don't know either. Or no one knows at this point in time. But I wonder what makes you optimistic that the temperature can be lowered in the upcoming, not just hours, not just in the upcoming days, but in the upcoming weeks and months. Well, you know, after um, my uncle, after President Kennedy was killed, there was at that time, I mean, you know, when my uncle landed in Dallas, there were um, there were posters of his face on wanted posters, wanted dead or alive, that were posted around Dallas that day. Um, there were there were articles in the papers that were filled with hatred toward him, and and, uh, and that after his death, uh, that kind of poison disappeared for a long time. And the Congress reacted by passing the Civil Rights Act, 
And by passing a lot of legislation that reflected our our highest ideals. So I think, you know, I'm optimistic that Americans can use this moment to uh, to shift direction, to shift toward the, you know, what Abraham Lincoln called the, the angels of light instead of the darker angels on our, on our shoulder. When my father was killed, the same thing happened. And, you know, the, I, the, the country came together at least for a short while. And, um, and you know, and and then the violence, and people started being a little kinder to each other. So I'm hoping right. that this can be the impetus, provide the impetus for us to find, start focusing on the things that we all have, the values and the ideals that we all have in common, rather than these culture war issues and the voices of demagoguery that keep us all apart. President Biden, we heard from, and, and I'm not sure if, if you heard from him, but he gave a speech for a couple minutes and, and echoed much of what you were saying. And he said that he would be trying to connect with President Trump at some point this evening. Um, or will you try to connect with him as well later tonight or in the upcoming days? And I, and I wonder what you might say to him. I, you know, I'm going to send President Trump, I, as I did immediately, my hopes and prayers and, and to urge Americans to pray for him, to pray for his family, and also to pray for healing in our country. I think, you know, we need, as I've said, we need to use this uh, this terrible, terrible incident to, to come together. You know, a lot of times, I, you know, our job is to bring order out of the chaos and to bring, uh, to make, to make good out of evil things that happen. And we have that opportunity now. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., thank you for jumping up, uh, jumping on with us this evening um, as we all watch what happened and try to sift through what we know at this point in time and what comes next. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., I appreciate your time and thank you for being with us here on News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.